Hello? Wake up, Bob. I need you to look at a ring. Meet me in the workshop in 15 minutes. So Tommy's on his way over from the shop. A customer's come in with a four carat E VVS diamond, but the mount is meant to be atrocious and they want us to remake it and make it look amazing. So I cannot wait to see these stones. There you are. There you go, Bob, you all right? Yeah, I'm looking forward to see this one. How bad is it? It's bad. To be honest with you, it looks like a butcher's made it, not a jeweler. Oh my God, that is really bad. The client was told it was, a, it was an handmade piece. As you can see, he's paid a lot of money for it for a stone like this and he's been taken for a complete ride. So he's come to us and he wants to know, can you redo it? That's really bad. I mean, I mean, we can make this ring look amazing, but the only thing this is good for is the melting pot. I think melt this into a little bowl, start again. Well, the client's happy for you to do what you want. He's very confident in you, so let's melt it, eh? Let's get it melted. The first thing we need to do is get these stones out. As we're taking the stones out, you can see how badly this mount was made. It's been a one piece casting and it's not even made for these stones. That's why they definitely would have fell out at some point. And the walls are so thin, the claws are thin. It's just a really badly made ring. It's a real shame that someone would have said like they sold this as a handmade ring. And it's such a shame such beautiful stones would have been in a mount like this. But we're gonna change all that now. The rim we're gonna make is gonna be slightly heavier, so we're gonna to need to add some more platinum.
The ring's all finished now and it looks perfect. Things we have changed, we've got rid of all these claws that are so unnecessary and we've swept the shank into the diamond. So the difference of this ring and the previous ring, everything has been made for these stones, so it all fits perfect. In the other ring, there was massive gaps in between the two stones there. It was about one and a half mil and underneath you could see all the cast marks. This ring doesn't have it at all. It looks seamless and perfect. So just some advice when you're buying an engagement ring. Have a look underneath and see if there's any frosting because that means it's a one piece casting. Also, are there any gaps in between the stones? Like the one we had before, it had a one mil gap in between these stones and they just didn't meet up and it didn't look good. So that's one big telltale sign. Also, you just gotta look at the flow of the ring. With a CAD ring, they have a little bit of an unnatural look. They look like they've been made on the computer, which they have. With this and made, it just looks organic. Thanks again for watching. I'm gonna take this to the customer now. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next week.